Hello. Yeah. And then we should be a lot heavier here. I have 50 kilos on her. So I'm going to try. Also, notice how low she is and where her arms are, so keep that. So even if I'm here, it's going to be really hard for me to pummel inside, no matter how flexible I am. Does that make sense? So, and if you're having trouble doing this squat split, just pick your head up, look up. If I'm looking down here, it's natural for me to start to do this. My butt gets higher, and that's how we get toppled over. But a good base is butt down, head up. The closer my shoulders are above my hips, the better. The farther apart they get. The lighter my feet are, the easier it is for me to kind of, for him, and the easier it is for Nelson to kind of take my body and do what he wants with it. But if I stay here, the base, butt down, head up, he's not going to go anywhere. Okay? So, as soon as I come in, butt down, head up, I put my palm on his hip here, and I can use my elbow now to help keep his legs apart. Now, I can pick a side. I usually favor my left. So I'm just going to use this knee, turn it out here, right behind his knee. Now that gives the space while I'm keeping his leg open here with my elbow and on the hip for a knee cut. Coming in, boom, planting his leg down with my outside leg, elbow using, elbow keeping the space to make a pocket here. For now my knee slice to come in. Through the back. Hand on the hip, legs apart here, checking it. As I start to come down, my elbow keeps his leg apart here. Now I'm just going to slice. Oh, I need a little hole I just created. So if you guys notice, oh my God, she's keeping my leg away. So as she cuts through, is I can use this as a shield. She's blocking. She's not putting it down and giving me a chance to do the underhook attack. A lot of times this happens when we're reaching, like I'm not reaching for that underhook, I'm not letting my body get stretched out. Remember what I said before about keeping my shoulders close, my hips, but down. I'm staying back here. The first rope of the guard passes, I have to pass his guard. I'm not trying to do head control or arm control yet. His guard is his hips to his toes. So I'm keeping everything here, but applying that pressure on his hips even a little bit under his ribs now as I start to come through, just so he can't sit up or try to hit the skate away. Right? He's carrying all my weight right here. Boom. Boom. A lot of times I like to keep my feet back here just to ensure I can't get anything now through that pocket or try to hold on for any sort of guard. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Any questions? All right, I'll be around. Three, two, one.